Today is May 19th, 2024. So if you're watching this video, it has been many, many months in the making. I don't know what month it is when you're watching it. Or if, if I put it out in October, November, December, I don't know. This is what I look like right now, okay? Here's the belly. I'm not going to take my full shirt off to show you because, well, I don't want to see that. Neither do you. But by the end of this video, this will be gone. And the guy that you see right here, he's gone for good. Got back from a couple of places in town and picked up a few things for the remodel. It's going to be replaced. All this cedar, all these walls in here, is going to be... To be determined what color, I don't know. Oh man, that sun popped out for a few minutes. I ain't kidding you, I got sicker than a dog. Right, that's my fault for not doing nothing. The whole time it was hot. I mean, it was too hot to come outside, but. I am close. Get this piece up. I ran out of my short screws. Sorry, I use these big expensive ones. But it's going to get it done. All right. Hoist. Out of foundation here. We are being joined by the wonderful Miss Rooster today, who is actually in my chair, but that's okay. I pulled out the squeaky office chair. You gonna say hi to everybody? Yeah? Look at there, you're in the movies. Yeah, you're in the movies. Everybody's looking at you. Saying, what a funny looking dog. Oh, well, I got half a cup of coffee. Uh, a subscriber has... Just five months ago, I walked that same path as you just seen. Very close to 300 pounds. I turned to my side and I raised up my shirt and showed you a belly. Well, that was five months ago. And as you can see, although I am not all the way there yet, I have lost, lost a significant amount of weight. And so I want to do updates every now and then. I know a lot of people have been inspired by what I'm doing. So we want to keep you inspired, man. Going carnivore has changed my entire life. I feel so good every day. Uh, it's amazing. It is amazing. And anybody can do it. Even if you do not have the income you, you think you need, you can still do the carnivore lifestyle. And... Every day, you know, it's just something better happens. And, and, I, and I can't believe that I didn't do this sooner. And so many of the foods that we have today are just poison. If you're using cooking oils, the worst thing you could be using. There are so many things in our grocery stores that we didn't have 50 years ago. And that is why you see such an uptick in overweight people. It is the food that, that we are consuming, the fast food. Nobody ate fast food like they do today. Uh, if anything, you went out a couple times a month to McDonald's, and even back then they were using better things in, in the ingredients of the food than what they're using today because these oils that they're using, once they get on your liver and, or your kidneys, it takes a year or two years to get them out of your body. And people are going to start dying at younger ages rather than as time goes on, people should live longer. We're starting to see a reverse of that. And if I can convince just one person, you know, yes, I probably got another 30 pounds to go, but I don't walk with a waddle anymore. I can just bend right over, and if I'm sitting in a chair, cut my toenails. That was an impossible task before. Not anymore. And 
you know, at almost 60 years old, I feel like I wasted many years. You know, I wasn't overweight too many years, about a dozen, but long enough. And if I could have done this sooner, I would have. And that's about all I'm going to talk, guys. I mean, it's, it's pretty cut and run. You either want to or you don't. But we're getting there. I could never look down and, and see my knees like I can now. I could see all the way down. That first video that you just saw, I could no way do that. And I am no longer carrying. Yes, I got a little bit to go. But I'm, in, I'm wearing size uh, 38 jeans that I've been saving for a long time. And I can get in them. I have to put a belt on. It, is, it has changed that much. So enjoy the rest of the video. And whatever you do, if you don't want to do carnivore, that's fine. Just try to eat a little healthier. Uh, these restaurants, you know, know what's in your food. That's all I can say. All right, well, I guess you've seen what I used to look like. What I did is I took out some video clips of the last few years from my channel. And, you know, as I'm editing these videos years ago, I never realized. I mean, I knew I was overweight. I just never realized to what extent. Uh, I was out of breath all the time. I couldn't walk to my mailbox, and when I'd come back, I would have to stop a couple of times before I could get back to the house. I could zip down that driveway now and walk back at a fast pace, not even be out of breath. That's just in 139 days of changing my lifestyle. Now, I not only changed the way I, uh, the foods that I put in my body, but I also stopped drinking and uh, I think my, my mind has become a lot more focused now. Uh, I've got a lot more energy to get projects done. I mean, anybody that has watched my channel for any length of time knows I would start a project and it would either take forever to finish it or it never got finished. So what I've ended up with is 50 projects on my property, my cabin, that are not finished that I have to finish and that's going to be the focus uh, of this remainder of this year and next year and I don't think we fully understand how much gaining you know putting on this weight does to our, our bodies physically and mentally uh, the poison that is in our foods today we can't even comprehend what it's doing to us until you don't put those foods in your body anymore. And since I stopped putting that poison in my body, my mind, my memory, especially my memory, and I know a lot of people have asked that question, have I seen improvements in my memory? And yes, a lot of, you know, I, I can run out of a product and know that I need to get that at the store and I don't forget it. Now, I ain't saying I don't forget it, um, you know, that I don't forget things. Yes. I mean, that's, you can't remember everything. You know, I am getting up there in the age brackets, but I'm not, I am not too old that I can't reverse all the effects of what I've done to my body and feel much better the years I have left and add years to it. Cause I'll be honest with you. If I would have stayed on that path that I was going, I was not losing any weight. I was gradually gaining it. And that's how it sneaks up on us. We're gradually gaining it. You don't realize how much extra weight your body is carrying around. I feel the difference in my knees, my back, uh, my hips. I walk better. I don't walk with a waddle. Anybody that's gaining weight, they start to get the waddle. Okay? I had that. I seen that in videos that I would put on YouTube, and I would hate that. And then there was videos where I, I was aware of that and I would try to walk straight, but you can't because you're overweight. You're walking because you're in pain. When you're walking, you're in pain and it's impossible to walk normal. And, and I've said this in past videos. If you, if you want to know how it feels to be 50, 100 pounds overweight, grab a 50 pound bag of dog food, throw that over your shoulder. 
Go walk around the yard. Two times, if you can do it. Then throw that food off of your shoulder and go walk around that same yard two times. You'll see how much easier it is. Uh, and it that is no different than what you're carrying here. You're carrying that exact same amount of weight. Not only are you carrying the weight, you're carrying inflammation. Your liver, your liver is encased in fat. Your body functions are not the way they should be. But the good part is your body, your organs, especially your liver, they can regenerate. And I think that's what's going on in my body now because I would be up and down to the bathroom every five minutes. And, you know, and I was drinking too. That was not good on my liver. Every five minutes, it seemed I was going to the bathroom. That is not the case anymore. You know, it's, it's normal. Um, now, on the carnivore lifestyle, your urine will smell bad. That is normal. Okay. And there is a state, and, and actually, that's getting better. So I think there's a stage where your liver and your kidneys, they are, they're fixing themselves. And you got to allow that to happen. You cannot slip. You cannot say, oh, I'm just going to eat one piece of cake because that's where it all starts. You eat one thing. Well, the next thing you know, you're loading your cart with frozen pizzas and junk. And you just have to stick with it. I've done that. I don't see myself ever going back to eating garbage. I may eat some vegetables. I did eat some uh, sauerkraut. I have been throwing that in. I think I've ate sauerkraut three times. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's actually good for your gut health. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll buy a can or a jar of it, and I'll only eat a little bit of it, and I'll eat it out with a couple of meals. But I will eventually add some vegetables back into my diet, but not all. I was addicted to tomatoes. I ate, I drank tomato juice every single morning, and a lot of it. I ate tomatoes like they were going out of style. I ate so much pasta. You guys seen my cook, cooking videos. Uh, I would pile the pasta, and then I'd cover it with all kinds of other junk, and that wasn't good, you know. The meat itself, not bad for me. It's what I did to it, you know. So, I just, you know, I, I want to keep you guys updated because I know there's some people doing this with me that tell me that I have inspired them, and I want to just keep doing updates to show you that it's real, and I'm not and I'm not BSing anybody. I am losing. We will do, when I get to the point where I say I'm done with this, of the weight loss part, I will show you on the scale. But if you can't tell already, I mean, <laughs> you've seen where I'm walking the path before and walking the path today. There is a huge difference, and I feel it. So I have a sick dog to tend to right now. Yes, this is Dogtober. But I wanted to put this update video on for you guys during Dogtober. Uh, I am still committed to this. And you will see, if you, you already see, a much healthier me. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Ha ha! He's hanging in there. Uh, he's got good days. He's got bad days. You're not having a good day today, are you, baby boy? But he has gotten up and drank. Uh, it's just his, his breathing is not very good today. We've had a lot of smoke in the area. Ain't we, Lily? I know. Got the AC on. During the day, the smoke has been lifting. It's not bad. But you'll be okay. I'm keeping a good close eye on him, but I'm trying not to excite him. All right.